for New Zealand. The internet is our equivalent of the freezer ship for meat was in the 1900s. You know, it allowed New Zealanders to get their stock produce from here to the rest of the world and overcome the tyranny of distance. Now, the internet gives us that ability to do stuff here and get it to the rest of the world in less than a second. And if you live in the States, you can see TV series today, and we still have to wait. But that's not a problem with the internet, that's a problem with the openness. Open and uncapturable means we can all join the internet and are equals when we do. Government legislates lightly and with a mind for future benefits. And we can all build and do awesome things on the internet without asking permission. When Google started scraping the web, they didn't ask permission from the telephone companies and they didn't ask permission from the government. When Skype gave us free voice calls, they didn't ask permission from the telephone companies and they didn't ask permission from the government. And when Facebook gave us blogs and chat that our families would use, they didn't ask permission from the telephone companies and they didn't ask permission from the government. Well, in the early days of the internet, you basically had to be a computer expert to get your work online. Now the tools for publishing and connecting with others have improved a huge amount. This has led to much more creative diversity, which is essential. It means that those riskier experimental artworks and ideas can find the support they need to be realised. Those creative innovations that will lead us into the future. It also makes the world a much more interesting place to live in. To me, an open internet means an internet that we can all contribute to, to respond to our shared culture through remix without unnecessary limitations. No creative work exists as an island. Art is a global conversation that depends on openness and sharing. Because nobody can predict the future in any detail, a system that can remain open and uncapturable is the system most likely to remain able to change and, and be open to adaptation in changing circumstances. The internet is actually the biggest informational exchange that has ever happened. So I think that being able to access the internet through these different devices is it's part of its being open. It's, it's open to receive new devices, and it's open to receive new opinions, and it's open to receive new directions. And it's supposed to be open to everybody to contribute to the policy of the internet and play a part in its growth. Mm -hmm.